here. The woman is supposed to be here. Uh -huh, in the corridor. Then here. In the library. And in the conference room. Trying to pick my pocket, you've got to distract me. You can't steal a guy's walkie if he's thinking about his walkie. Uh -huh. P.S. That's not my spot. That is not my spot. That is your spot. And that's where you need to be so that Jonas can make the pass to the woman. And Jonas can't make the pass to the woman unless you are there. Oh, here's your walkie. All FSC employees, the facility is now The atmosphere and conditions required to pass are the transmitting device, should she have any questions. The device need not be turned on. It will automatically activate when it's exposed to the air. Here it is transmitting. Here, it is not. All present and sober, Sergeant Major. These were taken last night. Tell her she must plant the device within 10 feet of the Iranian ambassador for us to listen in. The recognition symbol? Because she's skittish. She won't talk without the symbol. Our man outside will be in contact with me, and should you need to communicate... I don't think that'll be necessary, ma'am. In fact... I respectfully request that he sit out. Thank you. Well, our man outside will be in constant contact with me. And should you wish to communicate discreetly, you may avail yourself of him. Thank you, ma'am. Let's start over. I don't think we know anyone wants the Iranians to get the bomb. We know anybody like that? I don't think we want them to purchase that technology. No, we don't. We're on the same team, are we not? We are on the same team. And your team is under my agency's control? Under CIA's control, but my team's on the field. Sergeant? I hear you. It ain't about spooks versus shooters. We have one opportunity to listen in, to determine if our gallant friends, the Russians, are going to sell Iran that technology, which in effect is the bomb. And what do you think, ma'am? Are our little friends aware of our interest or not? They are, which is why it is imperative we hear what they may say in private. And you tell me if this woman is skittish. I will pass the device. Before they leave the embassy. As but planned and as rehearsed. And our country will, I'm sure, be grateful to you if you would allow me. I don't see why you would refuse the use of any tool which might aid in the economy. You want to micromanage the little players. Get a chessboard. I'm required to tell you that there will be a record of the food and beverage charges against your part of the operation, both here and in the Iranian embassy. And that concludes this portion of the presentation. All right, gentlemen, as rehearsed, while inside the Iranian embassy, you are, of course, representatives not only of your country, but of... You and your men are here strictly as embassy. a protective detail, do I have that right? I assure you. Don't assure me, Sergeant. Don't assure me. Because, first of all, what the hell is this? Do you keep your own people under surveillance, sir? Would you are my people? Do you speak Russian? Do you speak Russian? Do you speak Russian? Yeah, do me a tivrioche. Farsi? I sent a man an enemy family, no? God love you for a liar. The reason I ask... Sir, let me guarantee The reason you. I ask is I don't want any of you cowboys, whatever your mission is. Sir, our mission is the security of you and your principles. Whatever your mission is, to betray by word or deed your understanding of these proceedings. I assure you. And secondly... What we have got here is a long, long-awaited opportunity for diplomacy between us, the Russians, and the Iranians. Diplomacy, which is different to kicking the door down. Let me guarantee you... And, and, I do not take it happily that you have been sent in here on the covert side to tear it all apart like a bunch of monkeys at a quilting bee. 
Mr. Chargé d'affaires. Yes, sir. New man? At Rangers in Airborne. Uh, first time I'm protected? I trust my family to him, sir. This his passport? It appears to be. Yeah. Keep him outside the embassy. Sir? Put him out on perimeter or something. When we go in, I want him outside. Sir, my mission with which I am tasked, as you are with yours, requires my entire team inside the embassy. This man stays outside. Might I ask why, sir? Here's why. He has made, in the last three years, five trips to Israel. Five trips to Israel. Is he a Jew? What was he doing there? Sir, I do not know. I don't know either. But maybe our friends on the other side know. I'm not chancing it. I don't understand. Look here. You guys have been foisted on me to screw up 15 months of diplomacy. Whatever it is you're doing, if you're caught, my conference goes down the drain. Your kid may be a Jew, he may be a spy, he may be buying relics in the Holy Land. But if the question occurred to me, it likely occurred to the Iranians. You wanted to drive a car? Fine. But he is not going inside that embassy. Sir, it is my absolute understanding. Well, you have your understanding. I've got my Marines. There you have it. team went down in the desert. 22 men killed. Unit members just like you. 22 men killed. How'd that happen? Somebody with a rocket propelled grenade just happened to know the point of insertion. Shot the helo down. Isn't that random? How'd that happen? How'd that happen, soldier? Sir, I do not know. Well, we got a leak. Chain of command over there leaks worse than a broken sail. Captain gets an idea, sends in his man, kicks it up the level of command, gets it to a level where somebody can make a decision. They call everyone they know to chat. Those people gossip about it with their insignificant others. Command kicks it back down with their improvements. By the time your brothers in arms climb into that helicopter, every man, boy, jack, and mule in the tri-state area knows the exact location, time, and wind direction of their point of insertion. And somebody with an RPG sitting there. Send them to meet their maker. Now I ask you, a fella in combat falls in a firefight. That's a tragedy. A fella dies because somebody's wife makes a comment to the green grocer. What is that? Sir? It ain't a tragedy, it's a crying shame, and it's avoidable, wouldn't you say, Sergeant? Sir? Wouldn't you say, Sergeant, that men die in combat due to loose talk? Mrs. Johnson, you read the Bible. Colonel? I read here in your dossier that you go to church. I... It's in the Bible. Gossip kills three. The one who talks, the one who listens, and the one who's spoken of. Colonel, I made a simple remark. I was talking... You've been recorded as saying my husband's unit designation is logistic, but that's not actually what he does. Colonel, the context... Actually, he's in the... 
counter-terrorist command, and Colonel, I was talking. Yes, you were. To what purpose, I do not know, except to call it gossip. And while that gossip Colonel. did not... Excuse me. While that gossip did not, that we know, cause as yet harm to others, it has cost your husband his place in my command. You just kicked your husband out of the unit, Mrs. Johnson. How about that? Take the perimeter. The perimeter? They've got the perimeter. Flag on the play, you've been nixed. Sit out. The nixed? What do you mean? What? I'm on the bench because I'm a Jew. It's as I said. No, I'm a Jew. My men have already checked the office suite and corridor. Everything is secure. The conference room? در وقت شما نوز کار میکنی؟ این نامه ها رو بعد تموم کنم پیس نه ام گانه شوی مای آفیس دیس وی پلیس سکیجولنگ پرابل این سکر پلیس کم نیس وی بیتنگ ایز بیتنگ ایز بیتنگ ایز بیتنگ ایز بیتنگ ایز بیتنگ ایز بیتنگ Let's get started, Mr. Ambassador. Let me show you the security office. Have my man get a cup of coffee. Of course, uh, come to the security office.
Get the idea? You know what your second chance is, ladies? You can spend the rest of your life to think about how you ruined your husband's career. Why is that? Because their career doesn't mean nothing to me compared to the security of this unit. Do you know who's out there in the civilian world right off this base? At the convenience store, at the laundromat? Do you know who your sister-in-law talks to to puff herself up because she knows one too many things? You don't know, and neither do I. And what we have right here in the last year, these are the photos of 112 men from the Special Forces community who have died because somebody knew they were coming. You cannot trust anyone, anyone outside this room. You will get someone killed, sleeping on guard, drunk on guard, consorting with the enemy. You run your mouth off on the street, you know better than that. And I find out that you're doing it, I will ruin you. Colonel. No, I'm not finished. This cover, the logistical studies unit, is getting thin. Now this time, this time. Colonel, whatever that woman did, whatever harm This cover she... gets any thinner, and I will rip it out, and we will start from scratch in a new designation on a new base. And you can kiss your homes, your schools, your jobs goodbye because I'm packing this circus out of here. I want the women of this unit so paranoid that you will think twice before you volunteer a nice day to anyone outside this room. It falls on you. You do your job. You have any question what that means, you come to me. These men are all dead. Colonel. I don't have time for it. Please. I'm gonna order some coffee for your man. May send him some food. I'm a body short. I don't want my man with his hands full. Wise precaution, but perhaps in this case unnecessary. Faith. And what precaution have we ever found unnecessary? Which is why we two old soldiers may be fated to die in bed. That would not be a hell of a thing. Cigar? Nothing. What's permitted to others is not permitted to you? The injunction of the Roman legionnaires. Ah, I see. I found a fellow scholar. No. Just another old soldier. Well, it's better than civilian life. As what is not. How did you hurt your hand? I was doing my nails. The file slipped. Bravo, X-ray, Delta. This is Zulu. Bravo. Who's Hotel, got it? Fox. CIA station chief in Tehran. Item Bravo. Item Bravo. You have my attention. They are Zulu Bravo. Zulu Bravo. We have your man inside the embassy. He will not, I repeat, not respond to my request for update. Are you reporting the failure of the mission? Art, art. Are you reporting no, failure sir. of the mission? He, no, sir. I am not reporting your failure of the mission. He... He is inside the embassy and poised for the pass. The diplomatic side pulled part pulled part of his team off the mission. Why is that? Because the man's a Jew. I believe he feared it might offend the Iranians. They did what? Who's our man in the Foreign Service? Get him on the line. This transmission breaks in 25 seconds. All right, tell me again. You're whining to me after my team was gutted because my man's a Jew. Well, he's got five Israeli stamps on his passport. There's some kind of mistake. No. No, I'm looking at his passport right here. 
number no sir the agent in place is a civilian employee of the iranians the woman is not due to exit the embassy for another hang on they still get me out of here they still they still have the 10 minutes we still have the hello hello i item bravo item bravo we are losing the carrier wave we're losing the signal is that what we're doing i'm sorry i need to buy what supplies for the frg meeting life goes on and army life in the frg is run on poster board and cookies so if you get the poster board i'll see you at the meeting tonight you didn't think that was a little excessive molly I am neither blind nor insensitive. Why was he so brutal? I'll tell you what we are. We are at war. And the more we sweat in training, the less we bleed in combat. And that is the sad and unfortunate truth. Colonel. I'll see you at the meeting tonight. Colonel. You're a rough old soldier with the rough old soldier's way. Is that it? You have issue with my command style, Miss Blaine? Miss Sergeant Lane? That ain't the issue. You just scared my newbie wife to death. Are you unaware of that, Colonel? Old friend, I just tossed one of 130 trigger pullers in a unit that I require a minimum of three times that number. I was a little blunt. Does that set your meter back to zero? Excuse me. I've got to talk to you. I've got to talk to you right now. Yeah, I need to talk to you. It's over. What do you mean? That's what I mean. I'm sorry, sir. No, that's all right. Um, I mean, the need for security trumps the board. And that may be harsh, but I'm sorry if that's harsh, but... Uh, I don't know another way. Could you ask somebody to clean that window, please? I can get those fingerprints out there. Three o'clock, the place. We'll talk. I don't think so. Colonel, I'm not sure I understand you. I need you. Subject's been inside 45 minutes. I do not know if the pass has been made yet. Thank you. Eh, Shirin. Shkam goni, biya birim. Ye chan to kare digam dara. Agar sare vaqt narim, khayli bade. Ye na. Atabus muntazare. Mitunam daram miyam. Emruz amniyate ezafe khayli shadide. Ye daqe, daram miyam. to fight. Well, I better go check. Oh, no, 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 please stay. They will call us should the Mongol horse reach our defenses. Well, you know, if I'm not looking at the troops, they're apt to fall into unfortunate habits. Swapping knives, showing each other their war wounds and all. Your troops in this instance is one man. And the men outside. Oh, yes, and your man exiled outside there. We were talking about the desert. When we were in Iraq, the soldiers were laying down hungry, but we couldn't do anything because our soldiers were hungry too. Was your people who said you could not be admitted? Your people. Simple operational change. No, they discovered your religion and feared that your presence might offend us. Could it be more shameful? I don't think so. 
the high school is hospitality. Is it normal for your garage to be unlocked? No, higher than hospitality is security. Hassan, do not have a person job. There are garage was it. You? I called about the poster board. Yes, ma'am. Just got it in. Poster board, banners, so on. We can't keep them in stock. Welcome home. Good luck. What kind of poster are you needing? Family readiness group. Family readiness group. Long way to come from Fort Griffith, but a lot of them do. Come out here, middle of nowhere. No, but we appreciate your business. Your husband deployed? No, he's a clerk on base. Yeah. I need... What? I said what I require is... No, I put the stuff aside. The stuff you called for, I put it aside. Yeah. Nothing in there. Biffy? Here's the thing. I know what Here's you're going to say and listen no, to me. You listen to me, Tiffy. It's over. Don't say that. It's over. Then what the hell are you doing here? I came here to tell you. And you came here because I asked you to come here, and so you came here for me. That's over. Wait a second for me to tell you what you need. I don't need you to tell me what I need. I need it to be done. What was I lecturing about that woman today? This has not, got nothing to do with security. Not security. This has got nothing to do with then security. Then what the hell does it have to do with it? It has... What does it have to do? It has to do with guilt. You're crazy. You know that? You're cra I'm crazy, too. Listen to me. You want to call it off. Call it off. Or crazy. Yeah. Sure, but don't, don't tell me it's security. Because if you want to go off the reservation and evidence is you do, then, then, then who is it best to do it with? Haven't we always been safe? Hmm? It's guilt, Colonel. It's guilt. And here's an update. Do you like it? No. No. That's right. You love it. I don't have to tell you what you need. who loves me more than his damned hobby.
You tell me that makes me a tramp. Come into a room. There's a dead body bled out on the floor. There's a fellow standing over it with a knife. Is he a murderer? Or is he a doctor, some Samaritan, trying to cut the clothes off to get at the wound? Nothing is without a price. What's the price of security? You tell me. Suspicion. That's correct. It's a terrible price. Did you see the person Tiffy met at this motel? No, sir. Was it a man or a woman? I don't know. All right. You sat in this chair. What would you tell me? Go on. I'd tell you... I'm listening. Not to fret. Yes. Because? We know the woman's character. And? And... That you take care of it. Consider yourself to hold. This is Brown. Thank you, Colonel. In short, and finally, in the interests of both the Iranian and the Russian peoples, yeah. the interests of uh, all the peaceful people of the world are, of course, identical. No, yes, it's serious. Uh, что касается uh, самого реактора, реактор, да, конкретно, ведь в это соглашение полную гарантию того, implement, все будет сделано спокойно. To your satisfaction. Uh -huh. Especially, must. Don't you agree be based upon the ancient ways? But I recognize, I recognize the men who trained me. The men who trained me have been trained by those who fought. Who may have fought with T. E. Lawrence. Excuse me. Vale. Huh? امریکایی هنوز اینجا سر فقط به من بگو که اینا آمده هم برم بیرون آها باشه زنگ بزن یه شیرین آره میخوام دوباره چک کنی آره My man and the Russian are taking a drive after the conference. Should there be water in the car? The knowledge of the desert must be based upon the ancient ways inherited from the Germans. Don't you agree? Pardon, I think she's coming out. I, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know if the pass has been made. She is right in front of me. She is 20 feet in front of me. She's crossing. Problem in the sand. We couldn't move. And unfortunately, we didn't have anybody. Hello, is Khabar here, sir? Umar, what's Khabar? Hello, Baba. Salam, John. در باز بوده بره همه یه بعض رسید و همه رو دیروز خوب نگاه کرد از اینا دوباره اینجا می چند سرو جان یه نفر اینجا بوده همه این ماشین رو به دکتر باز رسید فهمیدی؟ چیزی فکر میکنی یه جمعه خابره هم شد موسیقی 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 
اینو ببر از سر انگوش همه چه بکن همکارا کارمنده و تموم که سکمان نمیشه برو 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 یه چیزی گرفتم چه عجب این موج رادیویی یه ریدی تو لیو این تو منه شد بیلی Absolutely no problem. I'll get a report the moment. Here they come. Hey, don't let me show. I don't understand where he is. Where is he? Sir, I don't understand. 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 من پیداش کردم همه چی درست آقا شما میتونیم به ولی من هنوز تموم نکردم پیدا نکردم برو جانم برو درسته شش او مای فرند یو دید می ا ویری گود سر او ود هف دیلید مای پرنسپال سریپ اند بین پروون ا فول آی فاند وات واز ترانسمیتد Why you saved me a great deal of embarrassment. I received a good turn from my cousin. Did you? Let's get out of here. Affirmative. Wait. From one soldier to another. Goodbye, my friend. I trust we kept you occupied. It was hard to distract an old warrior, but I succeeded. I enjoyed our time together. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. What's your mission accomplished? Stay away from me, son. I will put you in the dirt. phone calls. You were shacked up in a motel is where you were. And our pretty little girl saw it. That's right. And she wants to know if thinking that she's discovered... Does she... Has discovered your indiscretion. Hmm. Does she know who I was there with? Was it her duty to go to the colonel? And she went to the colonel. Help me, Molly. You swore to me. Weeping. You swore that it was over. And I'm telling you a lie. I am. If your husband finds out, do you know 
what he's bound to do? <laughs> now tell me, how does it get this gunfire? I swear on my life, Molly, on my life, I will never see him again. I wish I was smarter, I swear to the Lord. They seem to have failed. They didn't make the pass. We're awaiting the return of the team. They're here. They're here. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Long morning. Thank you all. This facility is now a condition. Until the Russian's going to jump. That's what Washington is going to ask. What are going to tell him? Can we get some food upstairs, please? Sir, there's a 5 p.m. meeting in the staff room. Not very hospitable. Not very hospitable at all. What's that? Sir, it is a, I believe, a Yadagana of ceremonial Muslim day. Pass it here, please. It was a gift. All gifts or mementos received during the performance of embassy duties are the property of the United States. It was a gift of friendship. Perhaps you should give more thought to a legion soldier. Sir, if I could have one moment of your time. Thank you for your hospitality. You may keep the change. Perhaps you should have accepted my help. Code room, five minutes. See you tomorrow. What I'm about to reveal to you, I should not be telling you, and I only do so as it is essential to our unit security. What you saw was what you saw was what I thought. Tiffany received a call. This has to stay between us. There is a woman, uh, no, uh, not in the unit, on the base, who is being abused. She's not here now. This woman has tried several times to escape bad marriage. She was beaten, and she, from the motel, she called Tiffany for aid. <sighs> Thank God. Thank you, Molly. Thank you. You did right, girl. Stand by for Washington. You ready to take your beating? Sir, we report failure to... failure to plant the device. Give me the box. The man we were assigned was unable to pass the device to the agent in place, and so... Well, yes, sir. That is, I most heartily regret to so inform you. No, we offer them our assistance, sir. Is that a fair assessment? Is that a fair assessment, Sergeant? Holding. All right. The box is empty. Where is the device? Where is the device, young Sergeant? Sergeant Major. The listening device, where is it? 
Sergeant Major is behind the cushion of the Iranian ambassador's limousine. Exactly where I put it. And what is it doing there, lad? Sergeant Major, as it is a transmitting device, it is most likely transmitting. And the frequency? 245 on the B side, man. Washington back on the line. Sir, can I get back to you? Getting back to you in five. Carrier tone? Traffic sounds. My man planted our device as planned inside the cushions of their ambassador's limousine. The limousine and garage were swept by the Iranians and declared clean. Now, when the ambassador and the Russian take that drive and discuss the illegal sale of heavy water nuclear reactors to Tehran, I believe you will be privy to his conversation. It's coming on now. Put it in the room. That's that. Man. That's why the passport's fake. Oh, it's just passport fake. The entry stamp six months out of date. This is the correct stamp. You needed your man barred from the embassy. How about that? Is your man really a Jew? What possible concern is that of you? Let's get a translator in here. That thing we spoke of. It's over, Molly. Yeah, sure. Those two people we spoke of, those two people concerned. And as, as I understand it, they agreed that it was wrong. And that, that luckily, they'd ended it without danger. That there was no danger. And the, the situation was a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank you. Come on out of the cold, Colonel.